Hi, I'm Cherie of RVMobileInternet.com and today we have the new Maximum Signal Max Amp Mobile Cellular Amplifier. They have two versions of this amplifier, one they're calling the Mobile, one the RV. The RV edition is supposed to be able to give you a boost for all of your devices throughout the entire area of a typical RV. They sent us the mobile because they said our 35 foot RV would likely not be able to get the required signal uh, separation. And we also just prefer having a tech cabinet where all of our cellular devices sit. So this is probably a more ideal setup for us anyway. This one is however designed for smaller RVs and automobiles and is more comparable to the setup that you'll get with something like the WeBoost drive line of their cellular amplifiers. This one uh, was certified in May of 2015, and they are just now shipping the mobile version this week, and it is uh, July 7th of 2016. So it took them over a year to get this into production and shipping. We did receive the RV edition prototype last fall and had it in our booster testing, and it did not perform um, up to their uh, anticipation so they did have us send it back and we're hoping that anything that they found was resolved in the new production model and that's what we will be testing now head-to-head -head against the WeBoost 4GX. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. We just received this in the mail today. It came shipped in a priority box and then we took it out and it's just got this white box in it with a maximum signal sticker on the front. So definitely not the flashiness that you get with the uh, competitor with WeBoost who is a larger company. Maximum signal is a smaller all made in America company. So we're hoping that what's inside is what matters. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get this opened up. So inside, uh, just a whole bunch of parts put inside the box. So again, very simple shipping. Hopefully that's where some of the cost savings are. Uh, they do have a note right on here that the antenna included will require a metal ground plane. Um, if you're selling this on an automobile, you're fine because most automobile roofs are metal. But on most RVs, you have a fiberglass or rubber roof. So you will need to mount about an 8 by 8 inch piece of metal. And that reflects the signal up into the antenna. And it is an integral part of the antenna operation. All right. So let's go ahead and look at comes in a, just a bubble wrap bag and this is the amplifier box itself it is a plastic box and uh, fresh out of the box I can already see it's got some smudging and a couple little scratches on it so maybe this was a uh, model that they had in-house that they sent us for evaluation um, but it is uh, we'll just compare it to the WeBoost 4GX for size it's very comparable in size a little bit larger of a footprint but very similar. It's like the WeBoost, it's got an inside and an outside antenna hookup, and then the power supply is on the side. And it uses a TNC antenna connectors. Okay, and then the uh, power supply is a US, mini USB or micro USB, is that? I believe that might be a mini USB there, yeah. Okay, but it cannot take regular USB cables. You do need to use the ones that they include. Yeah, it's, they, they have a, well, it's not so much the cable, it's the power supply. They're putting 12 volt power over the USB. So they're using something a little bit non-standard and don't mix and match parts. All right. The extra antenna that they include is a magnetic mount, and then it has the taller antenna. So what comes with the WeBoost is a four inch antenna. This one I believe is 13 inches in total uh, height. Um, so we will be testing that. And again, another reminder that you need the ground plane underneath it. So they want you to be very sure to install that part. The interior antenna, is uh, just a paddle antenna. It's a little bit larger than what comes with the WeBoost. Um, with the RV edition, you get a little plastic dome that you actually mount, so you have to route cables into your ceiling and, and kind of place it midway in your coach. Uh, since we're going with the mobile, it is with the patch antenna. And their claim is that we should get more amplification range out of their setup than we will with the WeBoost. So we will be doing some testing head to head to see how far away from the interior paddle we can get and still get a boost. With the WeBoost, it is rated to be up to six feet. We say in practicality, yeah, six inches to three feet. We'll see what we actually get out of this one. And that would just hook into one side of the booster. Uh, for power, 
They do include both a 12 volt um, adapter plug and also a 110. So for to plug those USB cables into, so you can go 12 volt or 110 on it, depending upon whatever power source you have, where you're gonna be hooking up the gear. And they do include three different lengths of USB cable. So it, it, it's ver nice and versatile so that you can choose exactly how you wanna do the installation, and how much extra cable you wanna have laying around. Um, other than that, in the box, they do have some critical features of swag in there. You get your maximum signal bumper sticker. You get a pen. And for the case that you uh, can't get the internet to work at all, well, they do send you a bottle opener because that is the next best option when you can't get internet. <laughs> so that's what is included in the box. There is a get start guide in here for installation. Uh, we will be in getting this installed in our RV and we have the 4GX already installed and we will be doing some head-to-head -head testing against the two in a variety of locations and our premium MIA members will be having first access to those results and then we'll also get a review out on rvmobileinternet.com. You can follow along with that on our booster overview guide at rvmobileinternet.com slash boosters. Um, our co-author Jack Mayer it has the RV edition of the Maximum Signal, Signal Max Amp, and he has our 4GM, which is the other WeBoost uh, and, um, booster, and he'll be testing those head-to-head -head because he has a larger RV, so he will also be reporting back. Hopefully, we'll get some good usable data out of both of them and be able to share if the price mark of these is worthwhile. Just for comparison, the 4GX from WeBoost retails for $4.79, and the Maximum Signal, this kit that I just showed you, retails for $5.79, so it is $100 more, and the, the RV edition is a little bit more from there, so we'll hopefully get some uh, answers back as to if it's worth the upcharge. <laughs>